Welcome to the third tutorial of Elliott AI Framework for Unity. Today, we will create a skeleton that can heal its friends using a skill. We will use the same skeleton model we used in the previous tutorial. Since only behavior and skills of our healer skeleton will be different from his more aggressive partner, we can just make a copy of the skeleton that is already created and proceed from there. Let's call this copy Skeleton Heal. Since this agent is going to use magic spell to heal his friends, it would be reasonable to make him require the usage of energy. Create a new Elliot behavior file anywhere you feel comfortable in the project. Considering the role of our agent, Skeleton Heal is a perfect name for the behavior as well. Drag and drop it onto the behavior editor window to start editing it. The part that might be not clear yet, that is related to editing a behavior is the creation of loops. You can either do this by choosing the proper context menu item, or just use shortcut L. Loops work in a similar way to the observers, but while the condition that they check is true, agents don't get any instructions except from those, which are connected to the loop with a purple arrow. They replace entry in the model for that time. When the condition, checked by a loop is false, entry becomes the beginning of an algorithm again and the nodes that are connected to the loop with a white arrow are activated. Here I highlighted three nodes, which start to get activated when an agent can see an enemy unit. In this case, enemy unit becomes agent's target. We check if this target is close to an agent. In case it is indeed close, we want to make sure that our healer is safe, so we make him run away from that threat until it is far enough. Note that while an enemy is closer than the distance that we defined as a far distance in agent's general settings, it will do nothing except from running from its target. Once it's far enough, agent idles and starts the algorithm from entry again. When an agent can see a friendly unit, the actions it takes are similar, but almost reversed. Agent tries to come close, on the distance that is defined as mid-distance, to his friend in case that friend leaves a far distance zone. But when that friend invades personal space of the agent, it makes sure to get its oxygen back by running away just a little. When a friend is at a respectful distance and needs help, agent makes sure to use a skill on his friend that is called heal. So let's create the new skill in our project and start editing it. It should be possible to prevent an agent from finishing this skill by hitting him with something hard enough, so interruptible is set to true. We don't want to accidentally heal our enemy, so the skill can only affect friends. The skill still can be cast on enemies, but it won't do anything to them. Also we want to initialize skill by ray so that an agent needs to see who he is about to heal before he actually wastes energy for that. Since this skill is pretty much a magic spell, a range of 10 meters should do its job. We'll leave the value of field of view at zero, as this will make skill use a value of aim field of view, defined in agent's general settings. With the following configuration of timing, the skill will be applied once, agent will have to stand still and not attack for 0.5 seconds to load the skill and will have to wait for another 0.5 seconds to be able to use the skill again. I encourage you to have a small experiment and play with all of the values in a timing group to see what each of them does. The power of the skill is up to you, really, just see what values are working best at any given situation. Energy cost is the amount of energy points it takes agent to use the skill. If our agent has 10 energy and energy cost is 2, then it will be able to use the skill 5 times in a row, but that also depends on the rate of agent's energy regeneration. We don't want the skill to affect its targets in any way except from healing, so we'll just make sure effect health is checked and the health affection way is add. The most appropriate animation clip from available ones is the one that is named skill. If we assign a prefab to on apply fx on target, it will be instantiated at target's position when the effect of the skill takes place. That's it. Once we assign the created behavior to the skeleton heals behavior field in the agent component and add the created skill to the list of agent's skills, we are finally ready to test and admire our creation. <laughs> 